today we're doing something uh, that we've never done before. We're sending six dogs to New Hampshire. We're really excited about that. Today, we're sending six dogs, and they'll be leaving about two o'clock this afternoon, and they'll never stop until they get there. And it's a collaborative thing. We've identified these animals, pulled them out of shelter so they wouldn't be euthanized. Our objective is either get them adopted here or send them somewhere where they're wanted. And in this case, they're going to be uh, living in New Hampshire. Thanks for taking care of our babies. <laughs> So you're taking all of these guys. Let me show you the paperwork part of the two different groups. These are all here with their names and all the information and the vaccination state. So there's a main copy on the outside and then there's also additional one on the inside of each chart for you. So I made a couple of extra net bands. We'll make sure that all of them have their identification on the outside as well. We're usually the receiving end. We'll visit our website and look at everybody we have and then contact us and as far as um, personalities and okay. kind of what oh, we wait. learned about them. I was the medical director at Fulton County Animal Shelter back in the late 90s and I learned a lot about shelter medicine and then I started the Homeless Pets Foundation. I was pulling from shelters all over Atlanta so I would get word from people in the Northeast and they would arrange for a transport to come down and pick them up. There was two litters that really made me rethink how I'm going to get things done. They were picked up here, healthy as they could be, and three days later they arrived in New York and they were all dead. And what had happened is this group they hired, they were making multiple stops on the way up to New York to pick up more animals. And instead of driving all night to get there, these, these young dogs and puppies were exposed to all the heat and humidity of that trek, a three-day trek. They should have been an overnight trip. So I decided that the only way I'm going to do transport going forward from then was to do it myself. So I, I started what I call the Underhound Railroad. It's usually it's north. It's New Jersey, New York, and going to New Hampshire, Connecticut this trip. Uh, we go to Rochester a lot, which I'll leave hopefully by 12. And yeah, I drive all through the night, no, help, no hotel stop. We stop about twice to, to pee and poop and everything, and, and I start dropping off in the morning. You know, usually around you know 6 a.m., 5 a.m. Takes about 13 hours, but usually you know with stops and everything and gas and pee breaks, it's just like a like 17 hours. Everybody gets a gets a break, gets time out. I usually have some empty crates where you know I can move into another crate and clean their crates and then just move them over. And you want this to go with her, right? Okay. You want her name on it. I love you. I love you. Looking to adopt a new pet into your family or are curious to see what the Homeless Pets Foundation has to offer, please visit our website at homelesspets.com or click the link below. All shots, inspections, and registrations are included in the low adoption fee. We kindly accept donations to keep the nonprofit running healthy and strong, just like our beautiful pets looking for a home.